with another video again that I'm not used to doing so much on my channel but your girl trying to be experimental okay so work with her tell me what y'all feel tell me what y'all don't feel what I need to chill on also if you like what I'm doing and you're not subscribed you a hater but for real though if you watching me I would love for you to subscribe so yeah I went to Dover Street I think last weekend and I was just going through the racks didn't think I was gonna buy anything you know I was being super low key like I'm just looking like this is art like but um, I ended up finding a freaking Wales Bonner piece, okay? If you don't know Grace, Grace Wales Bonner, she, I think she's Jamaican. But I do know that she's British. She went to Central St. Martins. I just like her overall like vibe. I like what she exudes. She just seems just so like calm and just creative and real and humble i'll link the video down below but she was just talking about like her creative process with pulling inspiration from like different cultures and different times you know from like the 60s and 70s and just how she took pieces from that era and just made it her own like put her own little spin and twist on it anyway she's dope and i actually wasn't too familiar with grace well bonners until she did the collaboration with adidas actually adidas depending on where you are in the states we say adidas but uh yeah i seen it and i was just like blown away especially the styling of the pieces i don't know what it is but i just like love sportswear although i'm like not athletic at all i know i like look athletic with my long freaking limbs but i just like sportswear in general i think it's just a vibe like to just wear see i was at dover street and i seen this top it was the last freaking top and it was like 70 percent off so i'm like okay I gotta have it. Also the freaking colorway, this yellow and brown color combo is just so good on my skin. It fits perfectly. So then my little brain was going y'all and I'm like, hmm, this would be a good video idea if I can style this shirt and be a little bit more experimental with my wardrobe and also maybe give you guys some tips along the way on how to be experimental with your wardrobe. So for the first look, I went full on Grace Bonner with the trouser. As you guys can see, her models were styled with trousers. And luckily, ironically, I had the perfect freaking trousers to go with this Adidas shirt. My totem little brown and white speckled trousers obviously just work, especially seeing that the stripes are brown on the Adidas shirt. And then for shoes, I was gonna wear a white sneaker, but then I was just like, no, let me go with a little bit of pop of color. Because if you go on Wales Bonner website, then you will see that she plays with a lot of color, a lot of textures on textures and patterns on patterns, prints on prints, blue on purple, orange on red. So I kind of wanted to give you that same feel. So I chose to pop in a little pop of color, my little Margiela replicas in this crazy blue color. And with this look, I feel like anybody can pull off or if you can't pull it off, it's really, really easy to alter again with pieces that you have in your wardrobe. I can even see this look style with like a wide leg denim jean. And if any of you guys are interested in this Wells Bonner's shirt, I will actually have it linked down because I believe Essence has a couple of sizes left and it's like $70. So for this second look with the Grace Bonner t-shirt, I chose to go for a cargo pants and my Margiela tabby boots. I thought that this was a really fun, quirky-esque little look here. The look of the cargo pants and the look of the Adidas sportswear shirt come from aesthetic or profession that requires you to be active. So in that conceptual way of thinking, this look definitely is more practical than you may think. And I chose to go with my Margiela tabby boots mainly because I love the way that they look with my cargo pants, but also because it brings a little bit of unexpected flair to this look. Y'all, I was inspired by Mason Margiela Spring 2014 runway show. I just really love the proportions of this show. I like the little skirts with like the Margiela tabby boots and typically i like to wear my margillas with like jeans but again with these like boxy skirts i thought it was a whole little vibe now i don't own any of the pieces on this runway show again you don't have to own the pieces on the runway show just make the pieces that you got in your closet work okay ironically though with this look the whole look is actually margilla the shirt the dress 
which it looks like a skirt, but I actually just put the little t-shirt over top and it's a dress. I've actually worn it on my Instagram. And I actually got this dress with the idea of wearing maybe a sweatshirt over top in the fall or just a boxy t-shirt over top in the fall because I just knew the little puff would just look so cool and just so like art teacherish. And then the models doing this runway show, they had on like the Margiela mask and I don't own a Margiela mask. So I opted for a hair wrap instead. I love wearing a hair wrap, y'all. I think I have like a hair wrap tutorial on here somewhere. I think I did a video like that. It's something about a hair wrap that just pull your face in and just up and just suck you together, okay? And my dress is in like this coated cotton nylon-y like fabric. And if you guys seen my worst looks of 2020, then you wouldn't know that I have messed up with pairing different shades of black with each other in the past. So I'm like trying not to do this. I'm trying to just stick to this flash shit only in 2021. So with this look, although I'm wearing like two different blacks, kind of, sort of, the fabrics of them both, I feel like really mesh well together. And then for shoes, keep it on par with the full on Margiela, Margiela, Margiela. I chose to go for my green tabby boots. And although sometimes I'm a little on the edge as to if I really like this color or not, with this look in particular reminds me of why I did the right move with getting a deep green Margiela because it's just the perfect shoe, perfect color to just break up black without taking away. You know what I'm saying? Because it's still a neutral at the end of the day. And if you don't own these pieces, I feel like this look can definitely be achieved, not even with light pieces, but you can play off of this, this style. Like you can just put a t-shirt over like a slip dress. I love that look with like sneakers or a chunky boot. Or you can just take a little cute little slip skirt, slip dress with something just really simple and like, dainty over top. All right, y'all, so for this next look, I really, really wanted to push myself to style this tartan skirt that I just thrifted a couple of weeks ago. I have been kind of stumped as to what to wear for with it. So I sat down and I'm like, where can I find inspiration for this skirt? And then I thought of none other than freaking Vivian Westwood, who is known for the gothic punk rock aesthetic, who is known to just use a lot of tartans and plaids with her collections. So I don't know which runway show I was looking at in particular, but I know I did go through a couple just to pull inspiration from and just get an idea as to what I could do with it. And I tried like the plaid on plaid, but the plaid that I had just did not correspond with this skirt at all. So I was just like, I'm not gonna do that. Always go with the more simpler option. Yeah, so for this look, I didn't have anything Vivian Westwood-esque to go on top, but definitely the skirt is giving you Vivian Westwood vibes. And I, again, just chose to go with my Martin Rose t-shirt. I turned it around with the Promising Britain on front because the lettering is red and the skirt is red. And I mean, I guess I was kind of a loser matching red with black with red and black, but sometimes it works. And I know that the, the shirt is like pretty long on me because I'm only like five, five and a half, in case you guys don't know, although I just got a New York ID and I said I was five, six. The shirt on top of the skirt is kind of giving a Soulja Boy vibe, which is a vibe in its own, you know? I mean, I love oversized on oversized. Y'all know that's my vibe, been my vibe. This shirt has a large little cutout over the side. So when I do wear it, I typically like to be more covered on the bottom. It's either I'm gonna be fully covered or literally in just a slip dress and nothing underneath. And then for shoes, I chose to go for my Rick Owens tractor boots. I feel like such a freaking rocker in this look. And this skirt actually has a slit on the side. I can choose to wear the slit, but again, I have that huge cutout. So I was just like, let me turn her around to the side. If you don't wanna be so spilling out, although again, it's still a vibe if you do wanna be that way. But if you're wearing like something really sexy over top, just wear something really like ugly-esque on bottom or just really covered on bottom just to like balance it a little bit. All right y'all, so that actually sums up this video. Those are my experimental looks of the day. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how y'all are experimental with your closets. Like what are some tips or some keys? Cause although I've been doing this styling-ish for over a decade now, I still don't consider myself to be an expert. I know that there's so much more I can learn out there. So please drop down comments, recommendations, tips. Leave them down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, share with your friends, share with the family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.